Hello everybody and welcome to our webinar. Welcome to the new TechSoup.org. Today's webinar is going to be in pretty short in um, uh, relation to the usual webinars that we have. It's only going to be about 30 minutes. Um, so a little bit about the webinar tool that we're using today. We are going to be using um, ReadyTalk. And so if you have any questions, go ahead and just type those into the chat pane. Um, that should be on the left-hand side of your screen. We will try to get to your questions today. If for some reason we don't get to um, a question or two, we will try to follow up with you after the webinar. And if you do, you should be able to listen to the audio via your computer today. But if you would like to, there should be an alternative phone number that has been shared with you in your um, confirmation email that you used to join us today. So just as a reminder, we are going to be recording today's session. Um, the recording is going to be shared with you via email. It's also going to be posted on our new website. So if for some reason you need to leave a little early today, you can go ahead and join us at that. Or you can go ahead and watch it at a later date. So again, this is welcome to the new TechSuite.org. Thank you guys for all joining us today. We're really, really excited about our new site layout that we unrolled just this week. Um, my name is Kyla Hunt again. I'm going to be your facilitator today. I'm the Webcom program, program Manager here at TechSoup Global. With us today is Patrick Duggan from TechSoup and Laura Franklin from Nidia. They're going to be talking a little bit about the navigation and all the great things that you can do with our new site layout. And also assisting with chat today is going to be Becky Wiegand. So you might see her name pop up in the chat pane. And so say hi to Becky, everybody. Um, well, a little bit about today's agenda. Um, again, I'm going to be introducing TechSoup just in case you are not familiar with us. I'm going to we want to go ahead and thank Microsoft for um, a lot all their contributions to our new website, um, search navigation, and everything like that. And we're going to be talking about the navigation of the new TechSoup site, which of course is still at www.techsoup.org. And then we are going to be taking a look at any questions that, that people might have today. So again, a little bit about who TechSoup is. Um, TechSoup is part, part of TechSoup Global. And we do want to make sure that all nonprofits, libraries, and social benefit organizations have the technology and the technology knowledge that they need to fulfill their mission. And we are, like many of you, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. And we do serve thousands and thousands of organizations by providing technology donations as well as technology information and resources to them to help them do what they need to do. So briefly I'm going to hand it over to Laura so she can talk about Microsoft's great contributions. Before we get started with our walkthrough today, we just wanted to thank Microsoft for its support in this project. Um, the new TechSoup.org website is built on Microsoft technology. Uh, SharePoint is the CMS we use. And Microsoft's fast search for SharePoint technology powers the uh, related content uh, features that we'll be showing you um, in today's tour. Okay, great. Thank you, Laura, for that. And at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and let Patrick take it away by sharing his desktop and showing you around our new site. Thank you, Kyla. And hello, everyone. Welcome to the new TechSoup.org. <laughs> We're going to start you um, on the home page today. Our redesigned home page is a true representation of everything that TechSoup has to offer the nonprofit community, including our product donation programs, our learning resources, and our nonprofit community. As you can see on the sleek new home page, we've made it as user-friendly as possible. As you scroll down, you can see our most recent articles and how-tos. These include our um, learning toolkits for nonprofits and charitable organizations and libraries. We have our TechSoup community highlighted right on the home page, as you can see with some of our featured forum posts and the TechSoup blog. 
as we move further down, you can see some of our featured webinars, as well as some of the top products from our product donation programs, like Microsoft, Adobe, Intuit, and Microsoft again. On the side, we're highlighting some of the solutions that we've put together for nonprofits and charities and libraries, such as fundraising, uh, apps and mobile resources. And we've also included some of the many projects that TechSoup Global works on. Uh, TechSoup for Libraries, for example, where we um, custom design um, learning resources and donation programs for libraries and also try to foster the broader library community. Our Net Squared project, as well as um, NGO Source and GuideStar International. Now, the really cool new thing about the new TechSoup is the navigation. We've been trying to make all of our donation programs, solutions, and educational resources as accessible as possible. So if you look at our new navigation, we have this handy browse by where you can browse by donor partner. So for example, if you know the donor partner that you've come to TechSoup looking for, say Microsoft. You can quickly find them here, skip over, and then voila, you're at the overview of our Microsoft Software Donation Program. And we collect uh, products in here as well as related articles and how-tos. So unlike with the previous site, we now have everything, our products, articles, how-tos, forums, webinars, blog posts, all brought together into one handy, uh, one handy browse. We can also browse by solutions. For example, fundraising. Perhaps you've come here to learn more about fundraising technology for your organization. On the new uh, fundraising solution, uh, solutions page, we've collected our uh, fundraising product donations. So in this case, you could browse by donors and grants. You can look up online fundraising resources, or perhaps you're interested in processing payments and donations, uh, maybe at events or mobily. We also have related fundraising articles, how-tos on the side, uh, blog posts, our forums, so you can ask fundraising questions. And also, you might be thinking, well, you know, what's available to my particular organization? Maybe you're interested in TechSoup.org, but you're not sure what's available to you. So we have also included a browse by organization type here. So let's say that you're involved in health services. On this page, you can see as a health services organization what, uh, what the top programs are for this particular type of organization. So in this case, it's the Semantic Donation Program, Intuit, GrantStation, and Citrix. We also have collected all of the donation programs that you may be eligible for, including, and we've also included other related content, articles, blogs, and how-tos to help you make technology decisions for your organization. You know, the types of uh, tech planning and tech products that are needed by a health services organization could be different from uh, a library, a scientific research organization, a youth organization, for example. So in addition to the new browsing, we wanted to really highlight the search box. So previous, we had um, Let's say that you know the particular product that you're looking for. So I'm an organization and we're considering upgrading our operating systems to Windows 8. So I come in, I'm like, okay, Windows 8, let's see what TechSoup has. So as you can see, We've returned over 60 product donations available to 501c3s and libraries, including Windows 8 Enterprise and Professional Operating Systems. And in addition to returning results about Windows 8, you say, okay, it's great that we have these product donations available, but is Windows 8 really right for my organization to upgrade? So we have 
um, we have articles and how-tos available as part of the search. Should you upgrade to Windows 8, things to consider. Or maybe you want to discuss uh, your, your future upgrade with the community. You can head over to the Community tab and join in the discussion. Now, we also wanted to mention, as a lot of people um, come to TechSoup.org from uh, different countries, and we're often asked, well, is my organization in Canada or, uh, or, or France or Germany eligible for TechSoup donation programs? Uh, TechSoup is actually part of a global network. We have partners in over 40 countries, and we serve countries beyond those. So if you're here from another country, you can join TechSoup and take part in our forums and blogs. Anyone in the world can take part in our online community. But if you're wondering about donation programs in your country, at the top of every page on the new TechSoup.org, you can find your particular country in this dropdown and be directed to one of our uh, many donor partner, uh, one of our many partners around the world who operate donation programs in their country and see if you qualify for their programs. So we've spent a bit of time navigating through the many, many ways to find products on the new TechSoup.org, but we also wanted to highlight our, our learning resources. Uh, as we saw down here in in the navigation, in the articles and how-tos. Um, TechSoup has many, many learning resources which you can now find in the support section. So in our navigation, you can go to support. And if you're looking for articles and how-tos or webinars, they're really easy to find. Under the new Articles and How-To section, we have some of our more recent articles. You can also browse by how-tos and solutions within our learning resources. So if you're interested in learning more about fundraising for your particular nonprofit, or maybe you're interested in uh, servers and networks, servers can be a big topic. And if it's something that your organization is considering, we can help you break down uh, how to network your organization. Also within our navigation, we have a, a new section devoted to installation and licensing of product donations. Many, uh, tech, as, as you know, all of uh, TechSoup's donations are provided through the generosity of our donor partners, and all of the donation programs are uh, actually separate donation programs for all of our donor partners. So many of our products are downloadable. And this means they need, that they need to be downloaded, installed, and uh, licensing needs to be configured. And we have all kinds of handy walkthroughs, articles um, that we've gathered together in this section. If you're wondering about fulfillment for your particular donation, you can browse by donor partner here in the fulfillment section and get more information about how to use your product, how to install it, and other related resources around it. And uh, lastly, as we go across the top nav, you can see our community, forums and blogs, of course, highlighting that. We also have community voices. Uh, that would be you, our, our members, who want to give us feedback or communicate with us. And um, community initiatives. Our community here does a lot of events, both in person and online. And you can access all of those here, uh, soup recipes. Uh, lastly, contacting us. So really simple now. You're wondering, uh, you have a question for our client services team, or perhaps you have a, a PR question, or you're an organization that's looking to donate technology uh, to the nonprofit community. Uh, we have really a uh, quick way for you to contact us here. On the new Contact Us page, you can find our main office easily, contact client services, our press office, anything. And that is a quick overview of the new TechSoup.org. So to highlight some of the um, 
previous features that were very, very popular um, on our old TechSoup.org. Um, we've kept all of the resources that um, our users told us were most useful to them and added some more. So for new users, we have the Joining TechSoup section that really walks through um, joining as an individual, registering your organization, checking donation eligibility, and um, going through the entire donation request process. It's also highlighted on every page. On the home page you'll see this little box that says how to join and how to get product donations. We've broken the process down into six simple steps. Um, to walk new users and existing users looking for a refresh um, on how to get product donations through TechSoup. Um, one of the other features, uh, the FAQ for product donations, is under support. And that is a very good resource um, for those of you who are using the product donation programs or looking for more information um, from TechSoup. Um, we've revamped this a little bit to make it a little easier to browse from the old version. But all of your questions around joining, registering, qualifying, account access, program rules, and eligibility, um, donation planning, and fulfillment information. Um, we've got a very, very robust FAQ here. So um, please browse through and take a look. Um, that's one of our goals with this project was really trying to make um, accessing information easier for new and existing users. So we've, uh, we hope we did that for you. Great. Thank you both. Um, Really quick, um, if anybody has any questions, um, please go ahead and type those into the chat pane because we do want to go ahead and let you guys have the information that you want to have. Um, one thing that's come up is whether or not the once you log in to the website, if that looks different or if that looks very similar to how the old site looked. Um, I don't know, Patrick, you want to go ahead and answer that? So as with um, the remainder of the website, the, the look and feel of the site was completely updated. But once you actually log in to the new website, you'll find that the navigation um, is still the same. Everything has the same name. And your uh, account management beyond the login, um, managing your organization's profile and forum profile, looking at your product donation history, uh, everything beyond the login is is still the same for you. Great, thank you. And then also um, something that some some people have been wondering about. Um, I know you showed that in the browse by section that you could select organization type, and that there was library section. Um, is the text soup for libraries page still a separate entity, or is all of that? information now on TechSoup.org? Good question. So TechSoup for Libraries is still a separate entity. It's part of the TechSoup family. But the actual TechSoup for Libraries page is still its own thing. You know, that page really does foster a, a broader community within libraries. And you know, we, we want to keep that project as its own as its own thing. We elevated libraries within TechSoup.org's navigation to make it easier for libraries to understand what TechSoup donation programs they were eligible for, and also to highlight some of the uh, specific learning resources on TechSoup for libraries. But the uh, TechSoup for libraries still continues still continues on. Okay, great, thanks. Um, we also had a question asking um, that somebody uses a remote server and are not very, they're not very happy with the customer service or the performance. Um, do you offer this type of remote server? So uh, I, I think I would have to know more about their particular situation, but we do offer uh, quite a few um, products through uh, the Cisco donation program here that might be of interest to them. 
Okay, great. Thanks, Patrick. And we'll go ahead and try to reach out to that person and see if we can um, get them some information about the, those products. Um, another thing that I was wondering, or another question that has come in, um, is how to best find information for a small nonprofit and whether or not you can really do a, a good search or if there is any kind of um, browse by feature for the, the size of a nonprofit. So, so if you're a, a small nonprofit, and that could be small in terms of size or budget, or maybe you're just a new nonprofit. You know, you've um, you just gotten your 501c3 status, and you're now considering technology investments. Um, I would I would say that the Browse by Solutions on the new TechSoup is the best resource for you. I know off the top of my head that we have a lot of resources around um, helping new nonprofits get off the ground on our TechSoup blog where we round up information and uh, product donations. I would suggest um, in this case the Browse by Solutions is a good place to start. You know, if you are a new nonprofit and you need to invest in you know, the, the basic office software to make your organization run or Perhaps you um, you want to know what database program is best for you. You know, if you're you're starting off, you need office software, you need um, a database software, and probably basic accounting software. And by browsing by solutions on the newtechsoup.org, you can review not just the product donations available to you, but also uh, learning resources to help you understand what is uh, what your nonprofit's needs probably are. You know, there's a, there's a lot of technology out there to accomplish a lot of things. And you want to make sure that you're making the best investments, especially with a, you know, the li limited budget or scope or, or personnel or resources that new nonprofits often have. All right, great answer. Um, we have somebody interested in the eligibility check tool and was wondering if you could show that. Sure. I'm going to share my desktop again. So on the new TechSoup, under Joining TechSoup, navigate down to Check Donation Eligibility. And this tool is designed to help organizations understand what programs, uh, donation programs they're most likely eligible for. So on the eligibility quiz, let's say that you're a 501c3 nonprofit. We'd like to know where your organization is located. Let's say you're located in my home state of New Hampshire, and there are youth activities. Now, we also want to know um, what your subtype is. Let's say, um, let's say in this case that you are um, your camp and your annual operating budget is 500000 Oops, I included a comma. So you check your eligibility to see which donation programs you are likely eligible for. Based on the organization type and budget you entered, here are the donor partners who have likely made their product donations available to you. Now, at this point, you still have to register your organization and send in your qualification paperwork to us so we can uh, verify your eligibility for programs. But right off the bat, you can see that your youth organization is eligible for quite a bit, including refurbished computers, uh, accounting tools from Intuit, Microsoft programs, um, Adobe programs, uh, Citrix Online programs, for example. Uh, security software. So yeah, that is how the check eligibility tool works. Fabulous. And then we also have some questions. Um, the people are wondering, if people see something wrong or broken with the new website, how can they report, report those problems? Great question. So we actually set up a special forum in our community section 
to collect all of the feedback that our users have on the new site. You know, as with the uh, as with any any new technology and new website, there's of course going to be a couple of um, minor minor things that need to be reported. And so, if you navigate to our forums, you'll be able to find our uh, our reporting forum for the new site. And in addition, if you just want to jump to the TechSoup homepage, this uh, this initial spotlight box where we profile some of our initiatives that are happening and donate what's new with our donation programs. From that spotlight box, you can navigate to a blog post where we detail uh, in greater detail everything that went into the new site, you know, what our, our thinking was behind it, some more detail here. You can see the original CompuMentor site from 1987. And uh, at the bottom is a link directly to the forum to let us know what, uh, what things you've encountered. And also you know, if you have any suggestions for enhancements and things that we can uh, add to the TechSoup site to help you get more from it. We also have some questions about just the downloads and keys sections. Um, wondering if, if they see that, that section, are all of those products immediately available to the person seeing it, or is it just what they were awarded that they can actually access? I don't, I don't think I understood the question completely, but in the, the download support section, so in the download support section, let's say you go to installation and licensing. What we've collected in that section is what we've collected in that section is installation and licensing support for all of the donation programs available on TechSoup. So as with any of our programs, when you place a donation request for a particular product, you will receive uh, email confirmation and further instructions about installation and licensing. But you know, let's say that uh, that email gets misplaced, or you have further questions about how to use a product, you can quickly navigate to installation and licensing on TechSoup and get more information about the download um, download process, about certain uh, download functions that are particular to each donation program. If you um, go to our download breakdown article also, you can find out, for example, some donations that are downloaded are, are very large files, and you can get more information about the best way to download those types of files generally. So you know, this, this section is available to anyone, and all of our donation programs are collected in it. And there's also just general information about uh, downloading software and setting it up on your system. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, and with that, we're almost at the half hour mark, which would be the end of our webinar. So I'm going to go ahead and take control back. Um, I do want to go ahead and thank both Patrick and Laura for being here um, to provide this great demonstration of our new website. If you do have any other questions, you know, feel free to contact us. You can go ahead and forward any other questions afterwards to me. I'll put my email in here right now, and I can get that to the appropriate people. And um, I also wanted to go ahead and thank Becky Wiegand, who has been greatly handling the, uh, the questions on the chat end. And I do want to thank all of you for taking the time to go ahead and join us today. I know that your time is very precious, and I really, really appreciate you spending some time with us. And finally, I want to go ahead and thank our webinar sponsor, ReadyTalk, for providing the tools that we provide these webinars with. And of course, one other great big shout out to Microsoft. Thank you, Microsoft, again. And at that, I'm going to go ahead and end today's session. Please go ahead and fill out the survey that's going to pop up in your screen when you close today's session. That survey will also be emailed to you after uh, the webinar along with a recording of this webinar and any other links or resources that we find um, that would be helpful for you. 
So with that, um, thank you for joining us today, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you.